Hey everyone, Steve here at the DJ Lab and take a look at the new release today. It's a SanDisk DJ flash drive, little collaboration between Rekordbox and SanDisk. It's a one terabyte high speed dual DJ flash drive for $119 US. Expected delivery late June of 2025. Let's take a look at this thing a little bit closer. Um, we've got um, some designs here. Oh, let's get here. You can, it looks like metal enclosure based on what I've read anyways as well too. And you can flip it around to get your USB-A or USB-C. That's pretty cool. They're just sticking out of a CDJ. It's a little bit tall, but that's all right. So this thing's fast. 1,000 megabits per second read, 900 megabits per second write speed. Uh, when you buy this as well too, just to let you know, it does come with a three-month trial of the Rekordbox Creative Plan. So you can try all the extra features that you might not have tried before. Nice of them to throw that in. So they say it's USB 3.2 generation one. I don't believe that. I think that's a misprint. It's got to be a generation two in order to achieve these types of speeds. It says it can do up to 34 gigs in under one minute. And compatible with pretty much everything. So nice drive. Just released today, coming out in June. Now, if you don't want to wait, you can maybe hop over and check this out. There's a move speed. Never heard of this company before. Did a little research on them. And uh, they claim that they have a drive that they can go drives from 128 up to 2 terabytes that can do 1,000 megabits per second read write speeds as well too. And they have this whole push-pull design. Oh, I want to just point out that about the warranty. Alpha Theta does have a 5-year warranty with their drive. And guess what? Move speed also has a 5-year warranty with their drives too. So this seems maybe a standard thing for USB drives that have five-year warranties. This is also a metal enclosure, zinc alloy to be exact. And um, this, you know, price-wise, it's it's more money. It's $169. That's a big difference in price. But it's available now. And honestly, I don't even think you really need a one terabyte drive. They got 512s. 512 is the one that I picked up personally. So for a few extra bucks with the Alpha Theta, I could have got myself double the storage capacity. And then if you want to go a little bit faster, for 149 bucks, you've got a drive that'll do 1,090 megabits per second rewrite speed. And if that's not good enough for you, they even have one that'll do 2,100 megabits per second rewrite speed. I don't know why you need that kind of speed as a DJ, but you might. And quite possibly, you're going to use this drive for more than just DJing. You might want to back your phone up with it, move things around. If you're going to spend that kind of money, why not? And you can get this drive in two terabytes for $239.88. This whole sale price thing, I don't believe that. I think that's just marketing hype right there, to be honest. So let's go over to this drive here. This is the one that I own. And it's plugged into my computer right now. And let's just see. Does it really do that kind of speed? Because, you know, people do a lot of talk. We're going to do the stress test. I'm going to put out one gig just to start out with. Select my drive. And then we're going to move this thing over so you can see what's going on as well, too. Okay, get this thing on the screen here. And let's fire it up. Wow, look at those speeds. Well over a thousand. When it says a thousand plus, they're not joking. Read speeds are over what they say. Write speeds are over what they say. Let's bump up that stress test. Let's do five gig and call it a day, right? Here we go. Because bigger files, sometimes they'll do thermal throttling and slow down as you're doing stuff, but still we're getting great speeds. I can't wait to get my hands on one of these drives from Rekordbox SanDisk so I can do a little speed test, do a comparison. 
nice drive, great price. And the difference is with this particular drive, if you had to call into tech support at all, and you had a problem, and if you said, I'm using one of your drives, there that's at least one thing they don't have to worry about. If you say you're using a different drive that they don't know, there might be some issue. And as for the move speed drive, like I said, I just got it yesterday. I've been moving files around. I've been using it so far so good, but only time will tell with these things of how well it will work in the long haul. That's it. Let me know in the comments below, which drive do you think you want to get? The SanDisk DJ flash drive or one of these move speed drives? I will have some links in the comments for my uh, Amazon affiliate program, which helps out the channel for you guys to grab a move speed if you so desire. Talk to you all soon. Have a great day.